Hello everyone and welcome to channel McFay, where manifestations come fast and easy when love is aligned with the mind. My name is Nanye Ojibe and this channel is all about spiritual alignment and raising our consciousness so that we can achieve all of our goals and live better feeling lives with law of attraction principles and self-discipline. Today, I want to do a part two, like a recap on what's going on after doing the mirror work. So the mirror work video is one of my popular videos. Um, a lot of people are liking it and saying it's helping them. So I just want to give another authentic, real video about my life after doing mirror work and how mirror work has truly helped me. All right, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back to this video and thank you so much for staying tuned. Remember, if you are feeling the vibe, show some love and like and subscribe because I truly appreciate it. So jumping right back into this video, yes, I want to talk about mirror work and give a recap. So when I first did the video, I was really into it. I was really doing the mirror work. I was really doing that. I made that part of my daily routine and it really did help me. I felt connected to myself in a way that I've never felt connected to myself before. The love was real. Like I was able to really have full blown conversations with myself in the mirror and tell myself everything I wanted to hear, I needed to hear at that moment. And I felt good. I felt grounded. I felt strong. I felt like, you know, I can conquer anything I put my mind to because I just had that connection with myself. So um, that video is like two years old. <laughs> and since then, because I was feeling so good, I was on a high from doing all those practices. I'm not going to hold you. I fell off. I fell off of doing it because I felt like, you know, I'm healed. I'm done. I don't need to do this anymore. And when we do that, like that is a common practice. I, I mean, I don't want to say non-successful people, but that is a factor while some people reach being successful and other people don't is because we stop doing the one thing that kind of got us to achievement. Like, and that's what I did. I fell off after I felt like I was healed. And as anyone can tell you, healing is not a linear journey. You know, you're going to have ups and downs. So I fell off uh, shortly after, you know, making that video. I felt like, you know, I'm good. So once I fell off, you know, life again, of course, was lifing. <laughs> so I went back to the practices that I used to do when I did feel good, when I did have a glow up moment, when I felt confident about myself, when I loved myself. And one of the best practices for me was mirror work because you really do heal yourself. So many things come up when you're dealing with yourself. But what I didn't realize at the time is that there are levels to this healing process. And I feel like when I did it the first time, when I did that first video, that was level one. And I cleared it, cleared it, with, passed it with flying colors, not a problem. The self-love was there. I loved myself in the present moment, who I was at that moment and who I was becoming going forward. That girl I loved. But the true healing process I learned comes from learning to love yourself and heal the past. So I needed to increase my self-love. So when I picked up that mirror again, and I'm now doing this constantly, I've been doing this now for 30 days every morning, and I feel so good. <laughs> I feel even more connected to myself. And what I found now in doing this practice again is that I am healing the inner child of me like the past me that was hurt by other people, situations, even hurtness that I caused on myself, even turning my back on myself, you know, doing shameful things to myself, being in guilt. All of that came up the second time I did it. So now that I'm talking to myself and I'm looking at myself in the eyes, like I'm seeing my soul when I'm connecting to myself in the mirror, I'm seeing the little girl in me. I'm seeing the little girl that was that felt unseen. I'm seeing a little girl that felt hurt. I'm seeing a little girl that felt dismissed and no one cared. She felt unworthy. She dealt with rejection. I'm seeing her now and I feel like I'm able to connect with her and hold her hand. Like as the adult me, I'm now able to give her the wisdom that I have gained over all these years and give her what she desires. And when I do this mirror work, I also realized that it's not about anyone else in our life. It's nothing to do with the external. If you're dealing with any circumstances, 
if you're dealing with unwanted situations, anything that you feel like you are dealing on the external part of you, like outside of you that you believe is causing you drama, causing you hurt, causing you pain. This mirror work really helped me to see that it's not. It changed my perspective completely because everything comes from within. And we probably do have other things in our life that are causing us this pain, but it's how we are dealing with it. It's how our reactions are handling the situation. And that's what maybe causes the pain, causes the struggle. But when we heal ourselves from within and with this mirror work, it adds a different perspective and it really allows you to see that. And it allows you to conquer that. And I feel like this connection I made with the inner child within me through mirror work, it allows me to protect that child. Like I'm now more aware of when something does not serve me. I'm now more self-aware when I don't feel good, when I'm holding emotions that maybe remind me of my past. I'm able to feel more connected to myself and strong enough to let that energy go and not give it any of my power. Doing mirror work for me nowadays almost feels like a meditation because it allows me to pour into myself, to love myself, to give myself so much confidence and just good energy. And with that coming from my mind, you know, these thoughts coming from my mind, it's like it flows through my body and it puts my body at ease. It allows me to feel relaxed. It allows me to feel calm. It allows me to feel gratitude. And this work has put my body in a habit of being able to recognize it. So I can decipher it and see it when I deal with issues or circumstances on the external world of me. I'm able to know like, okay, this is joy. This is love. I want to go towards that. Or if it's not, I'm aware because I feel it in my body. I practice this daily and I can say, you know what? No to that. I'm actually going to stare away from that. Mirror work allowed me to concentrate and focus on how I'm feeling because we live in a vibrational universe. So the key part in living a great life and achieving all of our goals is to make sure that we feel good. The mirror work has allowed me to listen to my heart, to be aware of my emotions. It allows me to be aware of my thoughts allows me to recognize which ones serve me and which ones don't. And also with doing this mirror work, when some hurt does come up and pain does come up, I allow myself not to judge it because I'm healing. I see myself for who I am. I know who I am. I speak love and pour into myself every day. So I know who I am, but I'm more understanding and I'm more calm and I'm more patient and kinder to myself when those unwanted emotions do come up because I do know that that's not me, but there is something there that I can improve on, that I can work on, that I can learn to love and to grow from, something that I may need to release. Mirror work has allowed me to see me for me, like see the real me, and then I'm also able to see the part of me that's not. Mirror work has allowed me to see all parts of me and to give love to every single part of me that shows up. This process has truly healed me and I feel like I no longer want to stop. I'm not going to stop doing it because I'm learning so much about myself. All these emotions and thoughts and feelings that come up have really connected me to me even more. Like it's like an intimate relationship I have with myself and I give nothing but grace and love to myself. And it's not easy. It was not an easy process. You really have to sit through the emotions. You have to go through this process in order to grow and to heal. It's a process that you're gonna have to really go through. And I feel like because I practiced this so much in the beginning, like a couple of years ago, the love I had for myself was there, but the inner work, the deep work did not really come to fruition until this second time around. So if you are daring doing mirror work and you do feel good with it, I encourage you to keep going. You will be so surprised on what else you can find out about yourself and how more you can heal yourself to reach another level of enlightenment, how much love you can give yourself. We live in a world of abundance, so we can pour into our cup all day and allow it to overflow into other areas and aspects of our lives. That's what mirror work will do. It will allow your cup to overflow. You'll start pouring into yourself every day, constantly, and you'll be surprised of how your life looks on the outside. What I'm noticing now is that I don't even pay attention into what's going on in the outside because that doesn't matter. I know that that's gonna be good 
once I feel good. So the key part for me is to make sure I'm good and then everything else will fall into place. And then with that, I know my manifestations and yours too will come super fast and easy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my recap video. Get your hands in mirror and keep doing this work. Pour into yourself every single day. And I promise you, manifestations overflow. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.